Hey guys, Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I want to introduce to you two of my new rats. Uh, <laughs> and I just lost the one I had in frame. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. So these two girls are around seven months old, and they are sisters. They come from a local rescue. That rescue is actually around three and a half hours away from me. And crazy enough, they actually had a volunteer who was kind enough to come out and drive these girls to me, which is just absolutely incredible because unfortunately I just wasn't able to drive out and get them. Uh, I actually inquired about this before I you know, even signed up for the adoption because I knew I was pretty far from them and I wanted to adopt rats from them, but it just wasn't really possible for me to drive and get them because I just came back from a trip and I also share a car with the rest of my family and with four people, it can be kind of difficult to schedule it for long periods of time. Uh, but anyways, they did drive these girls down to us and they have been absolutely wonderful so far. I haven't had them very long, but as you can see, they are quite friendly little rats uh, and they're just very sweet. Uh, this little girl here is a Russian blue Berkshire, so you can see her little white belly and of course standard fur and standard ears. And her sister here is a Russian blue variegated uh, velveteen. And what that means is she has slightly curly fur, slightly curly whiskers. Anyways, these girls are super sweet and I have chosen names for them. This one here is Blueberry because she has, well, a little blue dot on her butt. If she'll come out enough to show you. Yeah, as you can see, a little blue dot on her butt. And her sister's name is Banana because... Okay, I like food names, okay? That's why I named her Banana. I like food names, and I thought Banana was cute. It kind of goes with Blueberry uh, and just fits her for some reason. I don't know why, it just does. Banana actually reminds me a lot of my rat Bean. Um, if you remember her, she not only looked a lot like Banana, but on top of that, their behavior is extremely similar. I mean, Banana is already picking up some tricks in a extremely bean-like fashion. She just starts jumping around like crazy when she does her spin, which is so funny. I'll have to film that soon because it's super adorable. But anyways, it's always nice to find rats with such crazy personalities because I have to admit that I am a huge fan of just energetic rats in general. Uh, they are just some of my favorites. So these girls will be joining my main group after they finish their quarantine time, uh, which is just part of the, you know, rescue kind of etiquette. Um, and they typically do a quarantine, although these girls have actually been with the rescue for, I think, two or three months at this point. So the chance of them having anything is extremely low, but you know, it's always good to not take too many chances. So anyways, these girls will be joining my group and I will have a total of eight rats. Uh, which might sound strange because I haven't introduced the other two rats yet, but I will do that in a separate video. Anyways, I know this video is pretty brief, but I just wanted to introduce you to these girls and their backstory real quick. I guess the only thing I haven't mentioned is that one of the girls did end up biting a child, which is the reason they went to the rescue in the first place. However, they haven't shown any sort of biting behavior while at the rescue, and they haven't shown any to me either, so I don't think that it's going to be an issue. Even if it was an issue, you know, that'd be something we could deal with. Um, but I haven't seen any sort of behavior like that so far, so I think it's probably a case of, you know, either accidental rough handling or just taking a treat too fast or something like that. As you know, these things can happen, and it just is something that, you know, can happen with any animal. I mean, they're animals, so you can sometimes have accidents. Um, but anyways, both girls have been extremely sweet so far, so I doubt that's going to be an issue. Now what may be an issue is intros, because I can tell someone here is a little turd. Yeah, that's right. Whenever she smells the other rats, she is a turd. So we'll see how intros go when we get to that point. Uh, but for now, they are happy to be exploring this space. They're happy with their temporary setup. And overall, they just seem to be doing really well. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about their backstories <laughs> and this one who likes to chew. Uh, and I will be showing you more of them soon because I actually plan to do a training series with them. So we'll see how that goes. I am so sorry, she's chewing so loudly. What are you doing, banana, you silly little thing? Okay, so that's it for this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye, don't even think about it. You little butt. Oh, we're gonna have some training to do, I tell you. Okay, that's it, <laughs> see you later.